Congrats. Hello, everyone. Hi, Happy holidays. I am so excited for today's class because we're finally like in the holiday season. Yes. It's just really exciting for us. Yes. yes. We're going to be uh, working with Paint for today and also talking about some of the trends uh, that you're going to be seeing this holiday season. Yes. My name is Andrew. I'm Dennis. We're known as the Crafty Lumberjacks. We're going to start in just a minute, but while we wait, if you want uh, to let us know where you're coming from, we would love to know that. Yes, I'm on the chat, and our friend Kelly here with Michaels is on the chat as well. So if you have any questions, you can always write us in and uh, ask away, and we'll do our best to keep up with you all. Yes. We have someone from Dobbs Ferry, New York. Oh Hello. My gosh. Hello. We're right in uh, Astoria, Queens, New York. Yes, and if you've been to one of our classes before, you know we love to talk. So please, like, ask those questions. It could be about this project. It could be about holiday decorating. Yeah, uh, it could be about anything you see here. Yes. We, we've kind of started to, to chip away at our holiday decorating. Yes, we actually spent, like, yesterday and this morning decorating, which just put us, like, in the best mood. Yes, um, and we got I'm that excited. Christmas playlist going. Yes. You know, we're ready. We are ready. Uh, we have uh, Lisa here from Ohio. Hello, Lisa. We were just, we were talking, just talking about, about Cincinnati and Columbus. Yep. Great little state. Totally. All right. So should we get started? Yeah. All right. Well, so today, as Dennis said, we are making a paint pour pot. And uh, this is a trend that is uh, trending. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, it's a really, it's trending. And what's so great about paint pour is that it's really versatile. You can do it on a lot of different mediums, which is really awesome. Yes. And also they come in a wide variety of different colors. So you can pick out uh, colors that match your aesthetic. Um, today we're going to be creating a winter uh, pot, a planter here, terracotta pot. Yes. Um, and now one of the other big holiday trends this year that you're going to see is uh, uh, gifts with purpose. Yes, which you know, I love. Yes, like, practical gifts. Yes, and I'm, I mean, we, we love all types of gifts. When you can get a gift that you know, you can use and you don't feel like it's a burden. I think it's a win-win. Yes. And also, uh, what was the other trend? Bringing the outside in. Oh, yes. Bringing in. the outside in. Yeah. So, you know, you can pop in a, a faux plant in this pot, or of course you can, uh, you know, put in a real one. But I think this makes a really great holiday gift, whether it be, uh, you know, if you're hosting a party, you want to bring over something to the, oh my the, 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 uh, the what was that called? A host gift? Yeah. Like a host gift. You can put a poinsettia in here or like a faux evergreen or just, you know, uh, like a pothos, like a live plant, just that would last, uh, you know, as long as they can keep it watered. I don't know. Some Sometimes we have trouble with plants, so we like the fake ones sometimes. Uh, but we actually did, I was going to just kind of give a little backstory. We actually did this project for Michaels in a video that's actually going to be coming out. When, when did we say? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, so we, you'll get the full how-to in that video. We did this project in July, we did a lot of Christmas content. So we kind of decorated in July and then took everything down for Halloween. But we were really nervous with the paint pour, especially. And something we learned about paint pour is it's really not as daunting as you might think. So it really has this beautiful effect where you might think like, oh gosh, that's really too hard to achieve. But it's really actually easy. To Very do. easy. Yes. But I think any crafter of any skill level can do this. Absolutely. Our number one tip, though, is to be prepared when you start. Yes. Have all of your materials and supplies ready. If yes. you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. Yes. Uh, so we have a tray here with some parchment paper. We'll also be using a, uh, a paper plate. We yes. have some craft sticks here. Uh, of course, our uh, pot. And then, of course, we're using a uh, ready-to-go mix um, a pouring paint. So they have a wide variety of different ones. Some you have to mix together. This is all ready to go. This is all you need Oops. to create. Yeah, uh, this is from Artist Loft and Michaels has a wide variety of different uh, colors of these. And sorry, did I steal your thunder? No, not at all. I was gonna say what's so great about this paint pour specifically is you do not need to mix it with anything else. A lot of paint pours you have to mix in a paint pour uh, medium, medium just to mm -hmm. make it thinner and pourable, but everything is mixed here, which makes it just so much easier. It's one less step. And I just, I think that's much. Yes. Cause you know, especially during the holidays, you're so busy. Yes. So anything, but we love to give handmade gifts. Mm -hmm. It's something that's important to us. I'm sure some of you joining us today like that element, but you know, you're busy, you know, yeah. so anything that can cut out the time and make things easier for you. We're all praise about me. that. Yes. yes. We did have a question here from Kevin and Michelle Washington. I thought the point of a clay planter pot was to let air in the pot. 
Won't the paint stop that process? It's still a great idea, but I need to know which plants to put in the clay terracotta planter. You know what? Thanks. That is such a good idea because yes, terracotta is breathable. It's, it, you know, when you water it, you see that it changes color. The best thing for something like this is to have a pot that you can put in, you know, like a plastic one that you would put in and when you water it, take it out. And then uh, when it's, you know, not dripping any more water, put it back in. Yeah, that is a I really that answer your question. question. Uh, so we're going to start uh, crafting now. Yes. <laughs> uh, if you're crafting along with us and have questions, let us know. Um, uh, we are going to start, uh, we do this different in our other video, but I'm going to start, we wanted to paint the inside of our pot here. We're going to be using this gold uh, metallic paint, which we yes. love. It's uh, really beautiful and has a beautiful um, outcome. And I'm just going to paint the inside because we're going to do our paint pour on the outside of the pot. Yeah, so adding this uh, element of gold really just takes it over the top and you can kind of see it when the plant is inside. It doesn't steal from the paint pour. It really just adds a little bit. And actually, while you do that, I'm going to be painting the, um, the base, the little, um, what do you call that? Yeah, a base, base. So attached tray. Yes. Base. So yes. I'm going to paint that gold. So then there's going to be a little gold rim, and then the base is going to be gold as well. Again, just adding those elements that take it to the next level. And of um, course, you can leave this um, all natural if you absolutely. want. Again, it's your craft, so you make it how you want to make it. Uh, but I just think this adds a little extra element of surprise and uh, shine yes. that we all love for the holiday season. I was going to say so this is called Deco Art Shine or sheen, excuse me, extreme sheen. And Shine or sheen, Shine Charlie or sheen. sheen. What is so great about this um, is that it really looks gold. Like it doesn't look like paint, it really is beautiful. It almost gives this spray paint um, feel to it. And I can see Kelly is following along with us. Yes, Kelly, if you Kelly. have any questions or if we go too fast, just please let us know. I love that you're crafting along with us. One tip I would give when you're painting with any acrylic paint, wow. You can just like look at that. It's like so bright already. It's so gorgeous. Silver and gold, silver and gold. Uh, one tip I do have when- That's all I know <laughs> of that song. <laughs> That's it. When painting with acrylic paint on anything is use less paint. Even if you have to do another layer, don't gloop it on because you will see more streaks. If you just add a thin layer of paint. Uh, um, Kelly said, now you tell me. No, just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. And Kelly, just as you're going, you don't have to go all the way down. We went about what, like halfway down? How far are you going? Yeah, Andrew, I'm already halfway, all the way down here. He doesn't remember that we, we've done this before. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but you don't have to go all the way down if that's a-okay. And yes, if you're wondering, I'm standing right now, Andrew's sitting. <laughs> I'm the small and he's the tall. Yes. That's hilarious. But it makes a, a great, for a great epic Halloween costume. <laughs> yes. We'll actually take some, um, we'll take some uh, yes, for ideas next year. for next year because we were a little late on the game this year. I don't know about you, but I feel like this year is flying by. Oh my I gosh. cannot believe it. Yes. Um, I wonder if that just happens as you get older or if it's just like now we're inundated with the tons of stuff uh, around us. More it's a to little do. bit of both. Yes. It's also like we're not in school anymore. So we don't have that, <laughs> you know, that calendar that you follow. He says this as we're teaching a class in school. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you can see Kelly, I don't know if you're using the same paint, but it looks a little gloppy, gloopy. It's not giving full coverage right now. So we'll need another layer, but you just start with an easy base layer like Andrew said. Yes. And I will say, Kelly, if you're following along too, maybe you would want to give this layer and then do the paint pour and then add the next layer when everything is dry, you can do little touch-ups. Yes. And you can even go on your rim a little bit here um, because the paint pour will kind of cover it and fall kind of a little bit on the rim. Yeah, I think um, adding then, to the rim is really Yes, nice. unfortunately with the paint pouring, um, it does take about 24 hours to dry. Mm -hmm. So that's why we like to work with a little tray that we can move. So we have just a baking sheet here. This way, it just makes it easier to move to the side. You don't have to touch the pot or, uh, you know, whatever item you're paint pouring with or onto. Yes. Rather. Now, has anyone uh, who's watching actually paint poured before? And if you have, what did you paint for? Uh, someone asked, what kind of paint is the first layer? The, the one that we're working on now, this gold one, this one is called. 
the Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Extreme Sheen Deco Art. Extreme Sheen Deco Art. Uh, can I have, oh, can I have a little more painting? Yes, you may. And of course you can find this at Michael's. And then they come in different colors. They have a different color of gold. The silver, the silver uh, black. Yeah. So it's really nice. It's yeah, all they're metallic really beautiful. and stunning. Now, today's paint pour technique that we're using is called a dirty pour, which means that we're going to be pouring all of our, our paint pour paint into a cup first. We're actually going to be layering it into our cup and then pouring it on our planter here. Yes, I really love this technique because I think it achieves this really detailed layer effect. And I think it's just easier because you're not worried about uh, getting the coverage with different colors. This really allows it to create this uh, beautiful detailed layer. Detailed, detailed, as Meryl Streep yes. would say. Now, did we mention, uh, did we mention to have no, some, some um, you know, anything to wipe your hands off is really great, especially like anytime you're working with paint, anything in arm's reach. How you doing over there? Good. I think, I mean, we can kind of keep moving on All if right. you want. Um, we had another question. Oh, a paint poured my pumpkin this year. Yes, oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Actually, have we done paint pour before this? I think we did. Oh yes, we did that we did book it, yes. that, um, we actually did like a box, like a little storage box and we did the lid. It looked really great. It, it did look really great. That I really was really fun. It. Oops. All right. Okay. You good with that? That looks really nice. Thank Do you, you want to show it to the class? Sure. Well, it doesn't look as great in the camera. You didn't have to go all the way down. I know. I'm going to repeat that just so he knows. <laughs> All right, so let's Have talk. you ever used a type of wax or something to draw a design on the pot prior to paint pouring and result revealing the design? No, no. but that sounds incredible. I that. But I guess you could do that. You can use like a vinyl. If you have a Cricut maker or a silhouette, you can kind of do that with a, uh, a yeah. vinyl. Um, what are they that called? That would be awesome. Yeah, I love that idea. Well, now I'm embarrassed with the inside of my Oh pot. my gosh, I'm just kidding. It doesn't matter. I mean, I think that's a nicer, if you're giving it especially, I think going all the way down will add a nicer look, but it's just not necessary. All right, I'm, we're gonna talk about paints real quick. So when you're choosing your color, um, think of picking colors that are all in the same family. If you add too many colors, it's gonna almost create this muddy effect. If that's what you're going for, that's great, but we like to pick things that all coincide with each other. So today we have a silver. It's a little washed out. Sorry about that, everybody. We have a silver, we have a white, and we have this really nice dark blue. Now, before um, we go into it, I thought the blue was a little too dark for the whole thing. I really wanted a little more variety. So we're actually gonna be mixing the white and the blue together before we add all our colors into the one cup. Love that. So should I start doing that? Go for it. Great. So today we're just using plastic cups. Um, you can use reusable, but the good thing about plastic cups is you can bend them a little bit and that helps you get a nice little spout. Now, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue and then about three times as much white. That's gonna give me, you know, like, kind of like that baby blue color. Baby, it's cold outside. I'm just gonna do like holiday songs based on things you Great. say. I love that. Like an encore type of. <laughs> yes. I do wanna also say the great thing about paint pour is they come in these big, um, I don't know, these yeah, big bottles. A lot. However, you really don't go through a lot of it. You do not need as much as you might think. It actually covers really well. So that's, I really like that about the product itself. So then I'm just taking a craft stick and I'm just stirring it to create this blue. And as you can see, it really stirs in really nicely. And we're gonna be using the dark blue as well, but I just like having more variety. Why not? I got no song for that. Sorry about it. I'm gonna add a little more white and a little more blue just to make sure that we have enough for the pour. How are you doing, Dennis? You almost done? Yeah, I mean, we can call it whenever you're ready. All right, great. If you see here, this is one of our favorite Christmas hacks is decorating with wrapping paper. This is wrapping paper we got from Michael's, of course. We put it up on the inside of our door panels with a little bit of double-sided tape. Yep. It removes really easy. There's usually never any damage. 
Uh, but we also rent in our apartment, so we don't really we don't like, care whatever. about the damage that much. <laughs> yeah, but if you're a homeowner, you might not want to use the double sided tape. But the double sided tape has really never left any like no. residue. But that is great. And I love this wrapping paper from Michael's. It's been around for a few years now, and it's always our go to. And I'm so glad they haven't like discontinued it. Yes. And then really in an effort it. to kind of reuse, reduce waste, we actually will typically use our wrapping paper because we usually celebrate our Christmas after. The new year yeah. because we go see family and all that stuff so we'll actually use this to then wrap our gifts and we're like oh you use the wrapping paper on the door again i see ah yes all right so i can mix this up and kelly i think we could switch to the other um camera just so we get a nice close-up oh hello. yeah Look kelly at that. was ready she Thank was ready you. for it all right, so here you can see the bottles. Oh, baby, you were saying, Kelly, it's Kathy who's crafting along. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Kathy. I've like shouted you out like nine times. I, I have glasses too. And you know, that little text underneath your picture is impossible for me for me to see. Thank you for correcting me, Dennis. Um, she was probably like, who are you talking to I, this whole time? Probably, like, <laughs> it was you, Kathy. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's why you're in charge of reading everything, Dennis. Oh my gosh, here I am trying to get these. Okay, so now we're going to start our dirty pour um, technique. Now we didn't come up with the name, but I do think it's pretty funny. Um, so we're going to start with a plain cup. And I like to think of it almost as pouring a beer. You want to tip your cup um, to the side and then pour in a little. And you want to do this just because you're creating a layered effect inside your cup before you pour. So if you poured it just like this and fast, it's all just going to kind of uh, combine together. But doing it in uh, with like low the tilted and slow, cup, low, low and slow. slow. So I'm just going to add a little. And if it hits the side, that's a okay. And I should say you do want to shake your bottles more. before you go. Dennis says you could do a little more, but you know, it's all about adding small layers at like all at a time. I'm gonna do the blue next. So I'm just gonna add your made DIY blue. Yes, mine, yeah. But you could go in whatever um, whatever order you want. This is, yeah, it does course, not matter. You will course. not see it specifically when you- Right, yes. You won't be like, wait, that oh, should have been us. Yes, that was the layer I forgot or whatever. And actually it looks so beautiful in the cup. Yes. You can kind of see the layers start to uh, not come together, but kind of layer yeah. up. There you go. <laughs> there you go. How'd you come up with that one? <laughs> it was tricky. <laughs> and our our other tip with paint pouring is sometimes you'll um, end up with extra paint. Um, uh, what is extra paint? Extra period, period yeah. end of sentence. Uh, so we actually like to have some other objects around our apartment here. So like they have the wood uh, slices, if you're wanting to make some DIY ornaments, or we have uh, these cute little wooden stars we found. Um, you know, so you can think of like, not just doing one project, you know, but kind of trying to chip away at a few. Yeah, and if that's something you kind of think of after, if you have paint pour left in your cup, just use a little like saran wrap or top it with something and you could mm -hmm. easily save it. Yes. And now we're just going to kind of guesstimate how much paint we'll need to cover our entire pot. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, if you're uh, making a, a handful of them, you'll want to use a lot. If you're uh, going to be paint pouring on other items, you'll want to use a little more. Yeah, totally. You know, you kind of be the judge of that. I love Looking this good. Part. I know. Actually, I love the whole process of this. Yeah, what's so, so fun. fun is that every uh, paint pour that you do will be unique and different. Yeah. And I think there's something so special about that. There really is, like someone said with the wax thing, like there is really a reveal moment of, oh, it looks like that. That's yeah. awesome. Right now, this is giving me some Mamma Mia vibes. Yes. Very Greek. Let's see. Do you think any more? Dennis is looking Yeah, I think we'll need a lot more. Oh, okay. So let's just keep on going. Let us know in a comment what colors you would use for your pot or your project if you were to do this. I'm yes, always curious. This is like a winter theme that we're going with so that um, we can present this to our, our, our guests or whoever we're giving it to um, with a, a faux evergreen yeah. so that they can use this pot uh, with a real plant for the winter. Yes. Dennis doesn't know we're keeping it. <laughs> I'm not gifting it. I like it too much. Wow. That ends up happening a lot with our projects. <laughs> yes, actually, but I would be really proud to like bring this to a home. 
And then like everyone else who shows up at the party is like, great, who did that? Like, cool. Great, I bought a bottle of wine. It's like, oh, you know, I just like hand painted my pot and put a lot of effort into it, but not really. Baby, it's cold outside. Let's see. Is anyone else crafting along with us today or just Kathy? We'd love to hear from you. And again, let us know if you have any questions. Also, uh, this video will be live on uh, the Michaels YouTube channel in about 48 hours. Um, so that if you miss something, you want to revisit it, it will be there for you. And as always, if you're making along or want to share your projects, please use the hashtag make it with Michaels. This way Michaels gets to see it and we get to see it. Um, and it's a good way to keep track of all your stuff. Yeah, definitely. And then if you're not following us, please follow us, Crafty Lumberjacks, across social media. We're on the TikTok with the kids. We're on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And Twitter. And yes, yeah. we're everywhere. But I do love that hashtag. So I'm always wondering, like, what are people making? Yes, Kevin and Michelle said, I always like to watch first, take it all in, and get the suggestions, and then do it later. I love that. Yes, I love that too. We were with our niece and nephew recently and they were uh, giving us like a drawing class. Yes. But they would do it like step by step. But right. I kind of felt the same way. I'm like, show me the next step because, you know, they'll just draw a line in the middle of the page. And I'm like, wait, but what is this going to be? What is this going to be? And I'm like, do the next step, do the next step. But they wouldn't really move on until I drew the line. I'm like, and then I had like a present in the middle of my paper where I would have preferred it to be on the bottom. Yes, yes, of course. So I get that. I like to watch something <laughs> yes. funny too before tackling it as well. How do you think? Do you think we need more? A no, I more? think that's good. Just or yeah, just a little more. Just okay. a little more. Why don't you take over a little? Sure. Sorry, you get, your arms getting tired. <laughs> yeah, always. Let's see. I'm gonna. This is cute. It's looking cuter. It is. In the cup. And you weren't doing any type of um, repetition or anything, just a, a baby no, blue here, a dark blue there. It, yeah. Again, you won't, it won't really matter. I just think that the real tip is to do uh, just small amounts over and over, layers of small amounts. Yeah, and actually it's a very forgiving uh, craft medium. So, you know, if there's something you don't like, you can even just paint pour right over it again, or you can wipe it off and start all over. And again, like we've only used, not even a fourth of this so yeah. far. Whoops. Dennis is wiping up my skin. Yeah, sorry, I'm cleaning up after Andrew. You know, that's your job, usually. All right, so now we're gonna set up our pot here. So we're gonna do it right here on our tray. And actually for dramatic effect, we have a little spinner. Yes, yeah, like a little that lazy use. Susan. Now this really is just for, um, just for camera magic, but if, it does make it a little easier uh, to do, but you can easily just um, turn your hand instead of spinning the pot like we're gonna do. But yes. if you are doing um, a little Lazy Susan like that, you just wanna make sure that it's as centered as possible. Yeah, so now we have our Lazy Susan, and now we have our plate right on top there. And uh, typically we're gonna um, save these, but you can actually set your uh, bottle of the paint pour on your plate, because yeah. we want to elevate the pot a little bit. So you can either use your bottle of paint pour, or we have like a spray can here that we're just gonna use and put our pot upside down on our on little top. stand, our makeshift stand. So here. Kathy, if you're doing it, you could easily just <coughs> use one of your bottles. I would say use a bottle that you might, oh, that's perfect. I think she has a cup on that. Oh yeah. I love it. She is on it. She and we on. actually chose to leave our sticker here on the bottom because, um, yeah. If a lot of it drips in, it's going to get messy on the inside. Um, so we keep that on and then we, I think we removed it after, correct? Yeah, we removed it after. But if you, if you already took it off, it's okay. I mean, you could use a little bit of, paint, of tape, but I do think it saves yeah. a little bit of the But because board. we painted first, yes, you would want to, you would want to cover that hole. Yes, you're right. You're right. Right. Wow, look at us. <laughs> look at us. Wow. Look at us. We're crafting. Okay, that seems pretty good. So we're going to be spinning as we go. All right. Now, again, so as you can see, we're kind of taking a lot of time to just make sure we have everything set before we dive into it, just because it is one of those things where once you start, you really don't have a lot of opportunity to stop. Yeah. Right. 
All right, so should we just go for it? I think so. So rather than pouring in the center of our pot, because then we're gonna get a lot of buildup of extra paint, we're gonna try to aim for the edges here, the yeah. edges and just let it naturally drip and do its own thing, whatever it's gonna do. Yeah, so you're gonna keep going over the same area as you go. However, don't be shocked, it is gonna puddle in the middle. It just- Yeah, goes. sometimes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes it does. All right, should we go for it? I think I'm we should excited. go for it. I'm excited. Okay, right, are you so gonna spin it? I will spin. Okay. And we're just gonna start to pour. Oh my gosh. And again, like Andrew said, you can do this on any material. So we've done it on a box. Um, I was thinking like ornaments would look really cute with a little paint pour, even if it's red and green or whatever, you know, holiday colors you wanna use. Wow, I mean, even just like this, I think is so stunning. Like if you just wanted to do a little bit, Kathy, you're doing so great. I mean, it really just looks so stunning. Yes. Can you pull, put the thing over here so they can Wait, see it what? come out? Oh, okay, sorry. Oh yeah. Well, can you spin it better? <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> Just kidding, rain. just kidding. It wouldn't be the holidays without a fight. So why don't we let it like sit for a second before we keep going or you want Oh, to okay, going? sure, sure. Well, I was thinking, I think we have to put a little more. A little more paint in our cup. Yeah, wow, it wow. looks really cool. It really is so beautiful. And you'll see the colors are gonna just keep shifting as you go. Dennis said we do need a little bit more in our cups just because we want full coverage. That's a preference. So we're just gonna kind of add as we go. Here, you want me to do it? Uh, sure, just careful the cup is a little messy there. Okay. Here. Kathy, yours looks great. I also think you could you could um kind of uh sway or you know yeah. go just kind of on the sides. I don't think you always have to be pouring from the top down. That's true, absolutely. I've always mixed my own paint with medium, but I'm excited to try pre-mixed paints. Yes, Gail, it, it is so easy. It's just ready to use. Yeah, we you know, I guess we could have actually just used it on the bottle, but I like the dirty paint. Pour. I like the dirty paint pour too. I just think it really adds this like detail. Um uh, we heard from some people that they've had issues mixing their own, like they don't do the right ratio. So I just think this is a really uh, handy way just to have it all set without any, without any issues. Does that look like enough or you think a little more? Oh, I, I can't really see, but use your, your own judgment. All right, all right. Beautiful, Kathy, that looks awesome. Love it. My mom name's my mom's name is Kathy, but with an I. Yeah. K A T H I. And she gets very offended when people use a Y. But I mean, but she has a K just like you. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. All right. You want to keep going? You want me to do it? Okay. Sure. I've been dubbed the paint pourer. So it's really looking good on over here. So, so maybe like wait, but do you want me to pour it on here or just right on the side of the pot? I think on happens. here. Okay. because I can't really see where, oh, this is good, because now it's like a very different. And that's a great thing too, if you're not liking the way it's looking, then you can just mix more paint and pour it right on top. How stunning I kinda is I kind of want to pour it on the, like the side. Okay, then just do it in front of here so everyone can see. Oh, okay. Well, I know, but then I can't see the pot. Or like the spot. Oh, you there know. you go, there you go. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Ooh, ooh. Making it tricky for him, folks. Wait, wait, where did you just? <laughs> right here, look at the camera. <laughs> I know, but everything is uh, backwards. Backwards, yes. I'm just gonna touch up here. You can kind of see. So as you, this is also something as you um, probably have noticed, like as it drips down, it really does change. So what it looks like now, actually when it dries is going to actually look pretty different as well, which is really fun too. And then you can also, if you have some extra buildup like we have, you can take your craft stick and just kind of push, push. push. I guess we don't have that much, but. And again, this is going to shift and change, like Andrew said, kind of, uh, it looks a certain way now, and then you come back to it in an hour, and it will look completely different.
Wow. So I really cool. love... Do we have full coverage here? No, there's a little no, more back there's... here. Do I need to pour oh, a little gosh, more? Yes, just a little, just a all little. All right, all right. But the great thing too about this is it doesn't dry too quickly. So you don't have to be worried. Like I need to hurry and rush, you know? Yes, it's like, yeah, I'm it not does... loving this area here. Okay, I'm, you know what? I think that's because I'm going to tell you why. Because I didn't have any more of the pre mixed blue. Oh, the yeah, baby blue so. he got in there. I see. Like this looks epic. Right epic. there. Oh, yeah. It almost looks like a sound wave. Oh, yeah, totally. Do you hear what I hear? <laughs> Gremlins oh, is my favorite holiday movie. Oh, let us know what your favorite holiday movie is. Yes. We always, of course, watch like as many as we can. We try to watch every Christmas carol that we can get our hands on. That's always definitely a big favorite for us. Uh, but let us know what your favorite holiday videos are. Yes, videos. and that was kind of a controversial uh, moment because people would ask me during Halloween, they're like, what's your favorite horror movie? And my favorite horror movie, like I said, is actually my favorite holiday movie, which is Gremlins because it takes place around Christmas. It's very Christmas heavy. Um, love your songs first. Thank you. Joy to the world. Joy. <laughs> um, oh, uh, but down. yes, and it was very controversial because I'm like, I don't watch Gremlins though in October. I watch it in right. December. Yes. Sorry, now I'm I, now I'm getting the camera trouble like you. See, I'm like, am I in the frame? That's karma. That's karma right there. So you, you saw it here, folks. Think this is enough? Yeah, because we'll I'll just like touch up these areas. Very pretty. Let me see. I mean, it looks really, really beautiful. And Dennis was not happy with some spots, but I see he's kind of like Going over. fixing them a bit. Will like gravity do the work? Yes. Again, it is one of the most forgiving oh gosh, craft mediums good. out there. And again, a lot of people are intimidated by it for some reason. And I'm kind of like, you just you gotta let it do on. its own thing. Wow. Cute. You know, and I think with like every craft you do, there's going to be a side you like more than others. Like oh, I yes. like this side right here. I think yeah, that's it's really, really beautiful. Now we're also going to use our craft stick here to just kind of, um, well, we want to let it drip for a little bit just to get any excess dripping off. And then I'm going to use the craft stick to just clean up my edges along the bottom here, which is also good when you have the Lazy Susan, because you can just kind of do this. Because we don't want it to be like puddling or have like weird bumps or lumps. Yeah. So this is something we did oh, sorry, repeatedly. Yeah, you can see it. We did it a couple of times. We would do it like yeah, once so you and then we do it again. Now and then. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. How's that looking? It looks great. I it wanted to really show nice. too, just with our ornaments, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes, oh, Claire. Yes. Love it. That's actually one of our, our niece and nephew's favorites too. So, okay. So we're going to let this set and sit. We do have a swap out that we'll show you in a few minutes, but uh, you're gonna do the the stars? Yeah, sure. Great. Well, so, I was just gonna show, um, oh, are you moving that? I was gonna move it just like a little okay. here so you could do it right. Yeah, same thing with our star ornaments here. I just want to uh, prop it up. I have like a little wooden cube that I'm just gonna prop up. I just think that helps, you know, and obviously you would need to do the front and back, or if you would just wanna do one side and then write like a little thing on the back, like Christmas 2021. Is yeah. it the year 20? <laughs> I'm like, wait, what year is it? So he's just, I'm just a mixing little a little more. more. And it's going to be the same thing that we just did, but just on our little stars. It's really great, too. You could easily do a handful of these in one go. And then you could decorate your tree with them. How cute yes, is that? Or your garland, which we oh, actually yeah. talked about. Yeah, as we were like, oh, should we put these in our garland? Because we put up our garland today. It's just one of those, I was telling Dennis, it's, it's one of those things that we love to have, but it's always like the hardest thing to put up. So I was like, I'm going to do that first. I'm going to do it first this year. Yes, always tackle the hard things first because then the other things. Yes, they seem a little easier. Yes. Christmas Carol is also one of my favorite 
favorite movies and stories because who doesn't love a story about redemption and and starting over and I think with the holiday spirit you know it really gives you that momentum and uh kind of uh backing if you want to reach out to someone that you haven't spoken to in a while or kind of help someone out in need you kind of have the power of the holiday season which I love and I and I feel like Christmas Carol is just such an epic beautiful story Wow. And also, I was in it for three years. <laughs> Bravo for you, Ebenezer. Just gonna do a little, do a leapa. Do a leapa. Wow. Cute, cute. Very cool. I like that you're doing like a swirly, swirly McSwirler sand. Yeah, it almost looks like a a really beautifully topped, like baked cookie Ooh. like with icing oh my gosh I, i'm kind of hungry now <laughs> <laughs> i kind of want to eat this oh my god imagine you did like paint pour cookies and you're like oh hello oh i wonder if you could do that with like yeah, i'm gonna get my hands dirty here i was gonna say i wonder if you could kind of like like pull it yeah wiggle like it oh yeah i'll try to do it to the camera oh my gosh so trippy man Wow, it really Whoa. is pretty. I think this would look really stunning with like a uh, white and gold and silver. Very, uh, I think just like very like classic and classy. I think that would be yes, really Yeah, but I think beautiful. also, did you say less is more? You don't want to do too many colors. No, I was saying because... just white, gold, and silver. Just that. Right, silver. right. Yeah. yeah, I do think less is more. I mean, that's up to you, of course, as the creator. But I do think when you start adding too many colors, like if you start adding reds with blues, uh, the great thing about paint pour is they don't, mix mix together however they will um you know it, it still will look a little muddied very cool ebenezer scrooge <laughs> come forward and know me better man <laughs> Great this job. does look like a little like icing it really does this is really cute I'm, if you were I'm doing like starving. a cookie tree Oh my gosh, how cute would this be if you were doing a cookie tree and you just wanted it to look like- Like a cookie use? cutter tree? Yeah, or like, yeah, like something in your or kitchen. Just like, okay, yeah. Yeah, you wanted to have, like maybe you have gingerbread cookies and then you have some of these. I think that'd be so cute. Now I need to run to Michael's and grab all the stuff to make this. Very cute, look at that. Love it. I didn't get the edges fully, but- That's okay. You wanna get that one? Yeah. I think that's like now dip it in. <laughs> See, like we said, it's very forgiving. Oh, there we go. All right. Very cute. Wait, my star isn't staying. Oh, oh, it's just because it's stuck. I think that's the I think that's like the, the best tip is to have something underneath just to prop up, just so it doesn't puddle and then it won't give you um these like painted uh build up when it's all dry and actually speaking of that i'm actually going to just go around again and just check to see if there's any other paint that's dripped just to really clean it off there we go and as How you, you can doing, see Kathy? i was going to say there were some spots on Thumbs this up. earlier yeah, yeah, that i was not into oops uh, but now that it's really settled, it really does settle into a really um, we have a marvelous real spot look. here. That's all right. Okay. Very cute. So now once you're kind of happy with your paint pouring and feel good about the look, you just want to kind of store this um, in your home somewhere, not too hot, not too cold, not by a window or anything like that. Um, and somewhere where it's not going to get interrupted or it yeah. won't get um, shifted or move or your cat will knock it over or something. Um, but you can just, and again, that's why we do it on the baking sheet because it just makes it easier to kind of move around. Yeah, I do think this is actually the hardest part, not to touch it, you know? It's always yes, hard the to waiting, do that. The waiting. Uh, cool. All right. I guess, Kelly, I guess you can bring us up to the other camera. <sighs> Hi. Oh my gosh. Is this what we look like? Unfortunately. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to show you our finished uh, painted pot. Dennis is in cleanup mode. He can't. I know. Sorry. So here's our finished one that we did earlier. Here we go. 
I'll bring it up. I'm actually going to lower this light. Just a little okay. little oh, careful, bit. careful. Is that a little better? Mm -hmm. There we go. Wow. Very cute. So yeah, this is the one that we made earlier. And as you can see, you can't see this, but when you feel it, it has this really nice texture to it. It's really um, satiny. Um, but it's really gorgeous. Here is the inside. See, we didn't paint all the way down, but you really could. I think it actually, if you're giving it as a gift, it does help to paint all the way down. Yes. Um, so Kathy and anyone who else is doing it, you can, if I'm there are sure areas when you do it, you can just touch it up. It'll be really easy and maybe give that second coat as well. Um, but it really is just so stunning. And here we have it paired with our base. We lost and the tree. How cute is that? The tree's right there. Oh, that's no, fine. No one can see it. Dennis is fixing the decorations that he knocked down. <laughs> there he goes. I'm going to grab the tree. We're falling apart here. OK. So here we have a faux tree. And I mean, look at that. That is so, I think it's adorable. That is adorable. I'm actually, so once your pot dries, Kathy specifically, or anyone else who makes this, Oh, uh, you're gonna want to clean up the edges. I already, I already oh, said said, I'm, I'm so sorry. I had the the you know uh, craft emergency mm -hmm. behind us. Uh, these are actually also these cardboard trees behind us. Andrew, would you clear the way? These are trees too. We made. We cut out from cardboard boxes, shipping boxes, and then wrap them with wrapping paper. And they're great filler for our space because we like to have every inch decorated. Every inch. So decorated. we like to keep things easy, you know. Yes. Um, and I, I do want to touch up on the inside of this pot. Is that okay? Uh, that's sure. We're chatting. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions specifically about what you've seen today or about anything holiday related? Uh, ask us in the chat or you can even unmute whatever you would like to do. Then yes. I have to read though because I am oh way gosh. too far. He to can't see. do it. He can't do it. Did you seal the pot with anything? No, you know, we did not seal the pot with anything because our intention is to keep it inside. However, if you do want to take it outside, I would say a spray sealant. Uh, I think Krylon has one that we use all the time. Yeah, and um, I also, we're always Michaels. like uh, big supporters of Mod Podge. Yeah. Um, I think it works well for any type of sealant. Yeah, I was you know, and again, it acts as a glue and a it sealant. It does, yes. I was going to say Mod Podge also has... Um, something called Mod Podge Ultra, which is a spray. It's not like a aerosol spray, it's like a pump spray. And I think it's it's just a, uh, a Mod Podge medium that's really underrated and isn't always seen, but they do have it at Michael's and on michaels.com and it's so great. It really is. And it's self-leveling yes. so you don't get any brush strokes. Yeah, there's no pulling or anything. I think, I think the hardest thing about adding any sealant that's not through a spray is just like the brush strokes. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think of some of the other trends that uh, you're going to be seeing this year. Do you remember oh, okay. any of those? I think uh, a trend that you're going to be seeing this year is colors that are unexpected, really nice, bold pops of colors. And we were actually uh, doing a Michaels conference a few weeks ago, and someone asked us, when you see these trends, do you try to incorporate them? And what we said was, I think if you're into a trend, you don't need to go full out with the trend. You don't need to incorporate every single thing like everything in your house does not need to be with this trend, but you can incorporate little things. So adding a pop of color that you usually wouldn't do, I think is a great way to incorporate that trend, even if it's just by buying a different color ribbon. One year we did our garland with navy blue, and that's something we really don't use a lot with our, we, we, we're pretty uh, purists when we come to decorating. We like like vintage, uh, old school, old school. Classic. But we went with this really beautiful, like golden blue ribbon, and it, it really was stunning. And it was, I, I like that. It felt really fresh, especially to us. Um, other yes, trends, we're we're getting old. <laughs> other trends, uh, bringing the outside in. So foraging through uh, your yard or your neighbor's yard, we like to do that. I go out at night. Yeah, we, we live, live in, in Queens. We live in Queens, so there are no trees here. Across, no across the street, there's there's this holly bush at this other um, apartment building, and I'll go in the middle of the night and like bring scissors in a bag. I'm such the Grinch, but I'll, I'll oh cut. My God. I won't cut it so it looks He's like. He's just as tall. I'll I'll actually just prune it. I won't like. Take no, the no. berries He's from very the, you know, I try to go like towards the back, you He's know. Very gentle. Um, but so bringing that outside in in any way you can. I mean, I think everyone has seen like that woodland, that beautiful. Yes, like, or like stuff. the orange slices are going to be back this oh year. That was a big trend last year. The dried out orange slices. Yes. Which we actually we like to say that we were trendsetters in that moment because we did like an orange slice like potpourri. My mom would say differently. 
Like, <laughs> that's she, true. She, also she did, did that. it back in the day. Um, also, uh, wait, there's some more questions here. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say one that was really interesting was like balloon art is actually really trending this year. And we don't have any, we've never made anything with balloons, but you can see some really incredible stuff. Even if you're, especially if you're throwing like a party, I think doing something with balloons is super fun. Oh yeah. And super unexpected, especially during this time of year. I thought that was really interesting. Yes. Um, someone said, I see there are rimmed edges near the top. Oh. Did you want to stick around it to keep fluid and not lumpy? Yes, we took a craft stick. Oh, what's happening? I just Andrew? moved that down. Wait, but it's now oh. on the floor. It was just a covering. It was like in the shot. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Oh, so thank you so much for um, checking those bubbles or those things. So Right, yeah. So, but yes, if uh, you're just joining. Oh, thank yes, you. thank you. We use the craft stick. Just as it's drying, just check it every 20 minutes or so. Take your craft stick and just run it. It kind of um, will harden soon, like kind of take, keep this shape yeah. within like the next hour or so. Yeah, totally. But it's still very sticky. You know, you really want to let it sit for over 24 hours, but it won't really be dripping anymore. Um, yes. But every 20 minutes or so, just check it. Just do a little cleanup yeah, around the edges. For the first hour, I think that's like a good. And you know what? If it really, really bothers you and there's a lump that you cannot get out, I would say take a little bit of 220 grit sandpaper mm -hmm. and, and just sand, sand it down it and then down. paint over it with a little bit of gold. Yes, and I that's what that. I'm kind of doing here. I'm just kind of fixing up our trim on the edge. Yes. Um, we had, can you use this technique with glass etching? Oh. I guess you could, like the etching cream. Hmm. I, I guess I would like etch first and then cover the etching and then do a paint pour. Or what do you think? Gosh, you know, I really don't know. I don't know if you could do it with glass glass etching because I, I wonder if, gosh, I don't know. I think that would be the way to go. You do the glass etching first, okay. Then cut like you know, go through the whole process, then cover whatever you etched on, whether it's like your last name or whatever initial, okay. and cover that with like a little vinyl, and sure. then do the paint pour, and then peel to reveal. Oh yes, okay, yeah, that would maybe make sense. maybe especially if you have like a cutting machine and you're making your stencil for. Your glass etching, I would say, like save the other pieces and then put them on. I don't know. Does the paint have a matte or satin finish? It has a really nice satin finish. It's not high gloss gloss, but it definitely is satin. And again, it has like a really nice feel. I really like that. Then we had another, not the bottom. There are two ridges a little higher. Do you run the stick there too? Like up oh. here, you mean the, so this is technically the bottom of the pot. Oh, yes, I but just put my hand in there. Wah, wah. <laughs> yes, but of course it's, it's upside down, so it's the top. Oh, that's a really great question. You know, we did not do that and it seemed to really level off. But if you're worried about it, I think you could- Let me take a little brush. I think you could uh, scrape it. Should we just try it and see? Yeah. All right. So I guess I'll just try it and we will see. It'll probably push off some of it. You know, that's what I love about these classes. I Sometimes we're just like ask questions or someone brings something up that we just like never, ever thought of. Yes, I love it. Uh, Kevin and Michelle came with the questions. Oh my gosh, they were They are ready. not holding back. I love it. There you go. You know, um, I think if you're going to do this, I would say do it early. Just because already you can see that this paint is... Um, a little, it's it's hardened a little oh, bit Oh, that's already. the edges. Yeah, saying. that's the edges, I, I believe. I, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. But I don't think, uh, especially Kathy, if you're out there, I don't know if it's necessary to do. We didn't have an issue with this. I, just, I just did that. I just did exactly. I know, sorry. I shouldn't have painted it. Uh, you... <laughs> We didn't have any, we didn't have any issues and I don't believe we did that when we did this, but I, I love that. So if you're going to do it, I would say do it pretty early yes. on. Yes. How can I put this tree in here with it wet as a final, I don't think final look. I don't think you can. Great. Or I'll get a little bag. Okay. He's, he's made it 10 times harder for us, but it's fine. It's the holiday season. Yeah. So you must be kind to me. Not until December, sir. <laughs> Another lump of coal for the fire. Adorable, I love it. I love it too. I think this is such a great project. Don't forget the bottom. Oh yes. Yeah, so that's our little tray there at the bottom. So we did that gold just so that it had a different pop, uh, but so cute. Hi Kelly, I see you, you joined us. Does anyone have any uh, last minute questions before we go? 
can't believe it. This went by so quickly, at least for us. They always do. Thank you, Kathy. It looks Kathy. so great. Isn't it beautiful? I, I, again, I think we could do this. Even Michael's has those, I was thinking those little wooden blank um, um, nutcrackers that are so cute. They're like mini, they come in a pack of five. How cute would it be like with a paint pour over those? That would add a really modern touch to your so decor. Cute. I love that. Yes. And you could even do this with like smaller pots if this seems a little too big and then put those poinsettias. Or actually we were at Michael's yesterday and they have these teeny little faux evergreens. Remember those like little trees? Like that would be so perfect for it. Yeah, I think it's at one. one. It's I right do. It's over there somewhere. But thank you so much for watching today. Kathy, thank you so much for crafting along with us. Send us a picture when it's all done so we can see it. We would love that. If you have any questions, don't feel free to reach out to us. Instagram probably is the easiest way for us, but you can email us too. Just craft the lumberjacks at Gmail. Yes. But, and also uh, Kelly had sent the link, but we're going to do another class. We're making an adorable wood round snowman yes. on uh, November 19th. It's a Friday afternoon. Uh, so we hope you join us for that. And again, Michael's has these classes all, all of the time. time. Which is so <laughs> great. So you can always find something that interests you. Thank you so much for coming today. I'm yes. So thank you. And happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays. Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye.